this video, we're learning how to find a percent of a number using the percent proportion. So at the top of our screen, we'll see two proportions, and we can use either one when we're solving these problems, and they're pretty much the same thing. They're just written in a different way. So the main one is this one on the right that says part over whole equals percent over 100. The one on the left is just a shortcut in case you guys are having trouble figuring out what the part and the whole are in the problem. So basically the one on the left says that the part is associated with the word is in our problem and the whole is associated with the word of in our problem. So let's learn how to use these proportions by looking at example one. So example one says what is 40% of 80? So we have to look at this problem and we have to figure out what is the part, the whole, and the percent. Because those are the three things we need to fill in. And one of them is going to be a variable because it's what we're solving for. So in the beginning it says what is. So what is associated with the word is. So that is our part. And because we're solving for it, that's going to be x. So anything we're solving for is going to be our variable. The problem gave us the percent. So this is going to be the percent part of our proportion. And then it says of 80. So 80 is associated with the word of, so that is going to be our whole. And now we just need to plug these numbers into our proportion. So we're going to have our part, or our is, which is x, over our of, or our whole, which is 80. And this is equal to our percent which is 40%, we're just going to put it in as 40, we don't need the percent sign, and we're always going to put the percent over 100. So now we have this proportion, x over 80 is equal to 40 over 100, and now we have to solve this proportion. So remember when we solve proportions, we're going to cross multiply, but I always like to simplify my proportion before I cross multiply, so I'm going to simplify the right side of the equation. So first I can just cross out a zero, basically dividing the top and bottom by 10, and now I can simplify 4 over 10 by dividing the top and bottom by 2. So it's really the same as 2 fifths. And on the left side, I still have x over 80. And now to solve this, I'm going to cross multiply. So cross multiplication means taking the diagonals, multiplying them together. So we're going to have 5 times x. And we need to set this equal to the other diagonal multiplied together. So 80 times 2 is going to give us 160. And now I'm going to go up here because I'm running out of space. So I have 5x is equal to 160. And now our goal is to get the x by itself. So we have to divide both sides of our equation by 5. And 160 divided by 5 is 32. So we get 32 as our answer. So 32 is 40% of 80. And you just want to mentally check that this number makes sense. So 40% is less than 50%, and 50% is half. So 50% of 80 is 40. So 40% of 80 has to be below that, and we are a little bit below 40. So our answer looks like it's at least in the ballpark. So let's take a look at example two. So example two says, what is 12% of 150? So again, we need to figure out what each part of our question represents in our proportion. So what is is what we're solving for again. So this is our part or our is. And because it's what we're solving for, it's going to be our variable. 12% is obviously our percent. And of 150 is the of or the whole. And now we're just going to plug them in like we did in the last problem. So our part or our is is x, so we're going to put an x on the top left fraction. Our whole or our of is 150, so we have x over 150. And we're going to set this equal to our percent, which is 12 over 100. And now again, I want to simplify this down. So I can't simplify the left side because I have a variable, so it's just going to stay as x over 150. And for 12 over 100, I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 4. So I get a 3 on the top and a 25 on the bottom. And now I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to multiply the 25 and the x to have 25x. Multiply 3 by 150. 
to get 450. Bring this over here so I have more space to solve it. So I have 25x is equal to 450. And finally, to get the x by itself, I need to divide both sides of my equation by 25. And if we divide 450 by 25, we're going to get 18. So we get that 12% of 150 is equal to 18. And again, we just want to mentally check. So you guys may know that 10% is just a tenth of the number, or you can just move the decimal point one place to the left. So 10% of 150 is 15. So 12% should be a little bit more than that, and 18 is a little bit more than 15, so our answer makes sense. Let's take a look at a few more examples. So example 3 says, what is 110% of 30? So we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing in the past two problems. So what is is what we're solving for, and this is our part. So our part is going to be x. 110% is our percent of 30 is our of or our whole. So now I'm just going to plug those into our proportion. So I'm going to have x over 30 is equal to 110 over 100. And again, I'm going to simplify the right side. So I'm just going to cross out these zeros, which is the same as dividing the top and bottom of this fraction by 10. So now I have x over 30 equals 11 over 10. And I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to multiply the 10 and the x to get 10x. And I'm going to multiply the 30 and the 11 to get 330. And now to solve for x, I just divide both sides by 10. So I get that x is equal to 33. And we notice that our answer is actually bigger than the number we started with. And that makes sense because we're finding more than 100% of 30. So 100% of 30 is 30. So we want our answer to be bigger than 30 because we're finding 110% and our answer is bigger than 30. So our answer makes sense. Let's move on to number four, which says what is 220% of 25? So same thing, we're gonna pull out our part, which is what we're solving for. So that is our X. Our percent is going to be 220. And our of or our whole is going to be 25. So we're going to set up our proportion. We're going to have x over our whole of 25 is equal to our percent of 220 over 100. I'm going to cross out the zeros on the right side of the proportion. And I can simplify 22 over 10. So I'll keep x over 25 as it is. And 22 over 10, we can divide the top and bottom by 2. So we're going to get 11 over 5. And now I'm actually going to show you guys a shortcut for how you can solve this without cross multiplying if you guys don't want to do long multiplication and long division. So proportions are basically just equivalent fractions, right? So we know that something over 25 has to equal 11 over 5. To make equivalent fractions, we have to multiply or divide the top and bottom by our of our fraction by the same number. So let's look at x over 25 equals 11 over 5. So we look at 11 over 5. To get from 5 to 25, we multiply by 5, right? So to keep these fractions equivalent, we must have to multiply 11 by 5 to figure out what x is. And 11 times 5 is just 55. So we get that x is equal to 55. And now we want to check if our answer makes sense. So 220% is more than 200%. And 200% of a number is just double it. If we double 25, we get 50. So our answer should be over 50, which it is. So our answer makes sense. So we get x equals 55 as our answer. If you guys would prefer to cross multiply, you could also do that. So I'll show you over here. You could have done 5 times x is equal to 25 times 11, which is 275. And then you can divide both sides of your equation by 5. And you should get the same answer that x is equal to 55. Let's go through two more examples. So for these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own. And then you can watch me walk through the problems to make sure that you got the answers correct. 
So number five says, what is 35% of 120? So we're going to use the same method we've been using for the past four problems. So we're going to figure out all of the different parts of our proportion. So what is, is our part, and that's what we're solving for. So that's going to be our x. Our percent is 35%. And our of or our whole is going to be 120. So we're going to plug these into our proportion. So we're going to have x over 120 is equal to 35 over 100. And now I'm going to simplify the right side of my proportion. So I'll keep the left side as it is, x over 120. I'm going to divide the top and bottom of the right side by 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7. And 100 divided by 5 is 20. And now I'm going to show you guys how to do this using the shortcut that I used in example 4. And then I will also show you using cross multiplication. So we can think, how did we get from 20 to 120? Well, 20 times 6 is 120. So to figure out what x is, we must have to multiply 7 by 6. 7 times 6 is 42, so we get that x is equal to 42. And now we're going to mentally check that that makes sense. Well, 35% is less than 50%, and 50% is half, so 50% is 60. So we know that our answer is less than 60, which is good. We could also use 25% to check that our answer makes sense. So remember, 25% of something is just a fourth. A fourth of 120 is 30. So our answer should also be bigger than 30. So somewhere between 30 and 60. And 42 is between 30 and 60. So our answer makes sense. So now I'll show you guys how to do this using cross multiplication. So I'll do that up here. So I can multiply 20 times x. Set it equal to 7 times 120, which is 840. And now I can just divide both sides of my equation by 20. And 840 divided by 20 is going to give us our answer of 42. So either way we do it, we get that x is equal to 42. So let's take a look at our last problem, which is what is 180% of 60? Same thing. We need to pull out all the different parts of our proportion. So what is is what we're solving for. So that is our part. 180% is obviously our percent of 60 is our of or our whole. And now we are just going to fill in our proportion. So we're going to have x over 60 is equal to 180 over 100. We'll simplify the right side of the fraction by first crossing out the zeros. And now I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 2. So I'm going to have x over 60 is equal to 9 over 5. And I'll show you using the shortcut and cross multiplication. So to get from 5 to 60, we multiply by 12. So to get from 9 to x, we must have to multiply by 12. And 9 times 12 is going to give us 108. So I get that x is equal to 108. And we're going to check that our answer makes sense. So 180% is more than 100%, but less than 200%. But it's pretty close to 200%. 100% of 60 is just 60, and 200% of 60 is double it, so it's 120. So our answer should be between 60 and 120, but closer to 120. And 108 is between 60 and 120, and it's definitely closer to 120. So we know that our answer makes sense. So finally, I'll show you guys how to do this with the proportion, or sorry, with cross multiplication if you prefer doing it like that. So we're going to multiply 5 times x, set that equal to 60 times 9, which is going to be 540. And we're going to divide both sides of our equation by 5, and we will get the same answer, that x is equal to 108. So I hope that video helped you guys learn how to solve percent problems using the percent proportion. We also have a video up that is explaining how to solve these same types of problems with an equation. So if you guys want to learn a different method, definitely check that out.